prosecution. 22 minutes from that hearing, Shannon. Meanwhile, this morning, lawmakers are uh, revisiting yet again the, the fast and furious gun running scandal. This after a new bombshell report, it claims the former AG Eric Holder hid key information from investigators, the public, and even the family of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. Terry was shot and killed by one of the guns used in the Fast and Furious operation. William Lajeunesse has seen the report live now to tell us what is significant about it. William, what did you find? Well, you know, what was stunning, Bill, is what agents with the ATF and those attorneys with the DOJ in Washington, what they knew when they knew it, and to what lengths the Obama administration went to hide the facts from the public and from the family of Agent Brian Terry. It's a 300-page report. It is by far the most compelling and illuminating. Why? Because it is based on those thousands of documents that President Obama claimed executive privilege. The public was never meant to see. Some of the conclusions include, and this is from the report, that ATF and DOJ staff displayed incompetence and arrogance, lying from day one, circling the wagons trying to discredit anyone who question their story. Two, stonewalling the Senate and House investigations. ATF agents and lawyers knew at the very beginning that the guns found at the scene of Brian's death belonged to them, and they failed and they denied it for years, including lying to the Terry family at least four times to Josie's face, Brian's mother, about where those guns really came from. And finally, the ATF and DOJ refused to tell the Border Patrol about this operation. If the Border Patrol knew that the U.S. was arming the cartel they would not have sent these agents out there with bean bags. In fact, there's an email exchange in October 2010, two months before Brian was killed. This is from an attorney, a chief, uh, uh, chief of uh, deputy attorney general, Jason Weinstein, in Washington, saying it is a tricky case, given the number of oh, guns that have. Um, that were involved here, and the reply is that, hey, this is um, uh, by another attorney uh, in the criminal division. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised about the number of guns uh, that are being walked to Mexico. Bill? Thank you, William. More on this coming up, certainly. Uh, interesting report. Uh, William Lajeunesse, thanks. They're live in L.A. All these years later, still mm -hmm. ongoing, so we'll let you know what you need to know based on when we get yeah, it. Yeah, the family deserves answers. His parents yeah. do.